Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. This here, this month, is generally the, the big calm before the storm, before the hurricane season. Hurricane season, a couple months away. But I want to show you how we do get a lot of preseason storms. Uh, but this month, I like to pass along good news on this uh, channel. March is the quietest month. There's only been one named storm in the month of March, but it did impact the Caribbean. I want to show you that. It was a pretty big one as well. This here, here's the Atlantic Basin, the Atlantic, Caribbean, in Gulf of Mexico, all of these swirls, all of these lines here, these are the off-season storms. Hurricane season goes June 1st to November 30th. So these are all the storms uh, that have happened outside of the hurricane season, named storms, so tropical storms or hurricanes. A lot of those happen in May, uh, in the beginning of the season, and a few happen as we work our way into uh, December on the back side of the uh, season at the uh, end of the season. Now, here's a look at what happened back in March 1908. It was a while, and a few things weird about this is, uh, well, one, it was the only named storm uh, to happen in the month of March, and it went kind of in a weird direction, coming down and then just kind of coming uh, down toward uh, the south and west here and it did cross uh, Anguilla uh, over towards St. Martin, St. Bart's, and Antigua, and Barbuda, over toward uh, Barbuda in particular, and uh, St. Martin and uh, St. Bart's, and then back through St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, there was a damage reported there. Again, this is a long time ago. The records are a little, uh, a little sketchy, uh, but this was March 6th through 9th, 1908. Winds were at 100 miles per hour. They did have solid readings from some of the uh, ships, and of course, on land are 100, so 160 kilometers an hour or 100 miles per hour, category two hurricane. So it wasn't just a tropical storm. This thing did actually pack a punch. Of course, uh, it broke up a lot of, uh, a lot of the uh, structures that were on some of these islands and problems uh, with some of the crops, just kind of wipe them out. It was a really bad time for the, that to uh, happen. Of course, no real good time to get a cat to a uh, hurricane, but here is that official track. And then it just kind of fell apart as it approached Venezuela. So taking that turn here. Now, looking ahead and what we've had this month, that's the only one. Only one named storm has happened in March. April, there's been seven. Sometimes you get something spinning up. Um, it's rare, but it does happen. Uh, subtropical or tropical storm spinning up in April. But May, things can, every other year, things can really crank up. Every other year, there's there's a named storm. And again, these records that I'm talking about go back uh, some into the uh, 1800s, uh, best we can. But in May, 50 named storms. And this would be a year that we do have a preseason storm, the possibility of that because of those water temperatures. They are so very warm for even this time of year. And you see, these are the getting back to kind of current. These are the water temperatures right now, 27, 28 degrees, 29 degrees uh, Celsius. So you're looking at 81 to 83 degrees Fahrenheit. And that is good enough to support a tropical system. Well, why don't we have them then in the winter and early spring typically? Well, there's a lot of other things going on. Uh, we don't have uh, the tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa this time of year upper atmosphere is a lot more hostile, but point being, we have the warm water in place, and of course, as we go over the next couple months, it's going to be warmer, and as I showed you in the previous videos, we're going to have some extra moisture around in May and June, and uh, we're going to be in a La Nina period, which means less wind shear, so conditions would be more favorable for a named storm uh, before the season even officially starts. Now, right now, things are super quiet. Not only have we been dry, but we have been hot. You can see this kind of red and orange shading here. That is the dry weather locked in. This time of year, if we are dry, we just dry out so quickly uh, because we're going to be also on the hot side. So the hot temperatures with us, we've had issues with crops, been watching the wildfires, Guatemala in particular. We've had some in Suriname and elsewhere. We've had those wildfires. Keep me posted if you have any in the uh, comments but we have been so dry. This is where the big systems have been moving. Missouri and Illinois uh, last night, tornadoes, large hail, and a huge snowmaker over toward parts of Colorado that we've been uh, talking about. So all of these fronts up here, but we do have the chance of some showers in the Caribbean. I want to dive down in just a second. Let me start Why? There's that big snowmaker watching the severe weather threat up here with this system. Now, this is the one that'll pull off toward the east coast. So going from today into tomorrow, this is our Friday afternoon. And you see it right here. 
If this was a couple months ago, well, this moisture here may be a little bit down here, but this time of year, uh, most of the front staying up to the north. I'll zoom down into Canada in just a second, but you see again, this system out here fizzling in the uh, Rocky Mountains, still some heavier snow at times, the heaviest of which will be today in Colorado. Then this front moves off and you see not a lot of action as we work our way into our Saturday. Note though, Texas, Northern Gulf of Mexico, and then pulling into Louisiana, we see a little bump in some of the rain watching uh, the uh, Gulf states for that increased chance of rain as we work our way into Sunday. Now, I mentioned the chance of some showers. Some of us have had some, but it's so few and far between, and it is really difficult to forecast because, again, it's so, it's so spotty, but a slightly better chance Eastern Caribbean, especially the Northeastern Caribbean, the next couple days that at least some of us will get some showers with that easterly flow that will be with us. So this is this afternoon and then flipping over into tomorrow. We need some rain. Jamaica, we could use some rain. Cayman Islands, Cuba, uh, Belize, Honduras, uh, especially over toward Guatemala with those fires. But you see tomorrow near Puerto Rico, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Saba, Montserrat, Guadalupe, we may catch a few showers. Not a lot. Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, Grenada, although Grenada, we've had some showers over the last 36 hours. St. Lucia and Barbados, not the entire last 36 hours. We've had a couple passing showers. So just with that easterly flow, a couple showers will be around. Now just swing it up here. I'll get into the forecast in the Caribbean in a moment. Up here into uh, eastern Canada, here's New England. And get back toward uh, the Great Lakes. We're going to see this next system moving in by tomorrow. Better chance of rain you see over toward Connecticut and Rhode Island. And then this system will eventually pull offshore. So one system leaves and another one starts to work in Friday into Saturday. Now, as it does, we'll see some showers possible as you get over toward Nova Scotia on a, a Friday evening. And then Saturday, most of this moisture is offshore, but we may see some kind of trying to spin back around over toward uh, Newfoundland and Nova of Scotia, kind of right on the edge of it. Just depends on how this kind of pulls offshore. So we'll keep an eye on that system, but then that leaves us. And then on Sunday, some rain and snow mixing in New Brunswick and over toward Maine with another system that will be pulling off toward the east. So Jamaica, our rain chance stays limited over toward Falmouth and Montego Bay. Cayman Islands, 20 to 30% chance of a shower. Very limited Trinidad and Tobago hot. Watching the crops, the drought that is with us. Barbados, rain chance 10 to 20% and about a 20% chance tomorrow and Saturday in St. Lucia. Grenada, we could catch a uh, passing shower again. 20 to 30% chance St. Vincent the Grenadines. A little uptick tomorrow and about a 30% chance in Martinique. And even if you do get a shower, it's not going to last uh, too long. Rain chance on the small side, Dominica, 30% chance on Saturday. Same thing in Guadalupe, like I was showing you, with that easterly flow, there'll be a few. Antigua and Barbuda, rain chance up to 40% tomorrow, 40% chance St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. So there's that slightly better chance in the Northeastern Caribbean, 20 to 30% chance Anguilla and St. Bart's, and a 20 to 30% chance St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. Rain chance isolated, kind of spotty as we work our way into Puerto Rico. And we can see a few hit or miss showers, mainly the miss variety, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, Dominican Republic. Rain chance 30% tomorrow, mainly dry for my friends in Haiti. And then we get back here into the Bahamas. Rain chance very limited. We've had, uh, we're going to see a little warm up moving in too. Turks and Caicos, rain chance about 20% and about a 10% chance in Cuba. Rain chance uh, stays limited for my friends in Belize, a 10 to 20% chance. Same thing as we get over toward the Yucatan of Mexico, maybe a 20% chance of a late day passing shower. Aruba, Curacao, rain chance stays on the small side, breezy at times. 30% chance of a shower in Bermuda today in between systems. And uh, Costa Rica and Panama, slightly better chance, about a 40, maybe 50% chance of some showers. Guyana, 30 to 40% chance and a little uptick as we get into Suriname, up to a 50% chance on our Friday. Northern Venezuela, about a 10 to 30% chance. So drought levels increasing for some of us, watching the wildfires, the livestock, watching the uh, crops, very warm water temperatures for this time of year. So I'll keep an eye on any preseason activity Activity. Not yet. This month is usually very quiet, but as we get into April, we'll see if anything does try to develop. 
and monitoring the earthquake activity. It's been a little uptick in some of the earthquakes in the northeastern Caribbean. Nothing crazy, but I wanted to let you know that I'm on that. But the hurricane season starts June 1st. So thank you for being part of this channel. Thank you for liking the video, subscribing, sharing this information with your friends and family, especially before the hurricane season. Kind of get the word out about this weather community. I hope you have a great rest of your day.